Hello, this is Professor Reyes, and today we're going to be asking the question, what kind of person are you? All the questions will be taken from this book, Cocoology, and I'm only going to be reading the short ones because I sincerely encourage you to buy this book as it is truly life-changing. No, this isn't an advert for this book, but this is just something that I thought would be interesting for this channel. Okay, I'm gonna start with the British accent now because it's difficult to keep that up and read at the same time because I'm not exactly used to being scripted, so we'll see how this goes. Let us begin, shall we? The Bluebird. One day, a bluebird suddenly flies through a window into your room and it's trapped. Something about this lost bird attracts you and you decide to keep it. But to your surprise, the next day, the bird has changed color from blue to yellow. This very special bird changes color again overnight. On the morning of the third day, it is bright red, and on the fourth, it turns completely black. What color is the bird when you wake up on the fifth day? Here you have to choose one of the number options to get the results. Number one, the bird doesn't change color, it stays black. Number two, the bird turns back to its original blue. Number three, the bird turns white. Number four, the bird turns gold. Let's see what their results are. The key to the bluebird. The bird that flew into your room seemed like a symbol of good fortune, but suddenly it changed color, making you worry that happiness would not last. Your reaction to this situation shows how you respond to difficulties and uncertainty in real life. Number one, those who said the bird stays black have a pessimistic outlook. Do you tend to believe that once a situation goes bad, it never really returns to normal? Maybe you need to try thinking. If this is as bad as it gets, it can't get any worse. Remember, there's no rain that doesn't end, and no night so dark that there's no dawn the next day. Number two. Those who said the bird turns blue again are practical optimists. You believe that life is a mix of good and bad, and that it doesn't pay to fight against that reality. You accept adversity calmly, and let things run their course without undue stress or worry. This outlook lets you ride out the waves of adversity without being swept away. Number three, those who said the bird turns white are cool and decisive under pressure. You don't waste time on fretting and indecision, even when a crisis develops. If a situation gets too bad, you feel it's better to cut your losses and look for another route to your goal rather than getting bogged down in needless grief. That proactive approach means that things seem to just naturally go your way. Number four, those who said the bird turns gold can be described as fearless. You don't know the meaning of pressure. To you, crisis is an opportunity. You might be compared with Napoleon who said, impossible, the word is not French. But be careful not to let your boundless confidence get the best of you. It's a very fine line between fearless and foolhardy. On to the next one. You'll need a paper and a pencil. Written in the stars. When you look up into a star-filled sky at night, sometimes it's possible to lose yourself in the infinite depths of space. We may be aware of their vast distances from Earth, yet the stars still look like friendly messengers and granters of dreams when we see them twinkling in the dark. As the hours grow late, it's a comfort to look up and have their distant power to draw upon. Number one, draw three stars of different sizes. Number two, next draw a comet's tail on one and only one of your stars. Key written in the stars. The stars combine a glittering image of power to grant wishes and make dreams come true with a sense of distance and unattainability. Stars determine our present and give a hint of things to come. Your drawing illuminates your work life in general and your current career path in particular. Number one. The largest star you drew represents the job you hold now its potential and its disappointments. If the difference in size between stars and the other two is not very great, it signifies dissatisfaction or at least disinterest in your career. 
A willingness to shop around and keep your options open. Watch for an unexpected call from a headhunter. They have ways of finding these things out. On the other hand, if your job star is much larger than the others, it indicates you're deeply absorbed and committed to your current path. Your concern should be not to fall into the trap of workalism. All work and no play is no way to live life. Number two, in cultures throughout history and around the world, comets have been seen as harbingers of disaster and cataclysmic change. The star you gave a comet's tail to represents trouble looming on the horizon. If it's on one of the smaller stars, you're in luck. The heavens have overlooked you for now. But if your largest star is a comet, it might be a good time for you to bring your resume up to date. The stars never lie. This is pretty amazing. It tells you a lot about yourself and this is the two-in-one volume edition. There's the ones where there are two separate ones, there's like the two editions, but this is both editions in one. Yeah. This is actually my sister's, so. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching! Bye!